What's going on guys? It's Simo and welcome to another episode of Simo's Ultimate Guard Holiday Gift Guide Giveaway. That does not get any easier to say the more that I say it, but this episode is going to feature my favorite deck box of all time, the Ultimate Guard Flippin' Tray. Now, if you missed the last episode about the Sidewinder, I'd highly recommend checking that out because it's a really cool deck box. It's cheaper than this if you don't want to go all out and buy this, but it's still a very high quality deck box nonetheless. But moving on to the Flippin' Tray, as I said, this is without a doubt my favorite deck box of all time because Everything about, the, there's not a single thing I don't like about this deck box. Like, it's sturdy, it holds all the cards, it has a compartment for dice and such. It's just, it's like the perfect size the way it fits in your hand. There's just so many different aspects about it that I like, and I'm going to break them down in depth. So to start off with, first of all, look at this color. This is their petrol color. And this is just a beautiful color that this deck box comes in. I mean, it comes in a myriad of different colors. So, you know, if you're not a fan of like a tealish blue or a turquoise, whatever you want to call this, like I am, you know, you can get black, purple, uh, yellow, red. They have so many different colors. It's kind of ridiculous. But it's just, there's something that's just very pronounced about the way like this looks like if you're gonna be playing at an event and you just place this down on the table you know it just kind of has this presence that other deck boxes don't have and that's what I really like about it it's just so cool looking just the way that it's in its obelisk like design I guess if you want to call it that but moving on to the more important features um so again like all the ultimate guard products it has the xeno skin texture which as you guys know I keep talking about because it's just it feels really good it's gonna be it's pretty anti scratch for the the most part unless you like really like kind of go at it it's i've carried this one along with my other one around for probably the last like couple years and th there's maybe like one scratch on it and that's with it beating around in my backpack against all the other stuff that's in there so the fact that it's held up this long is pretty incredible in my opinion um, but then on the inside as well it has that premium microfiber that i just love like the fact that it's just, again, it's just such an attention to detail and quality that I love about this deck box that it's just, there's something about just like the craftsmanship behind it that I just, I really can't get over. Like this deck box is truly a work of art and there's really no other way to better describe it than that. Now on the interior of the deck box, it's really cool because there's two separate compartments. Now the Sidewinder, when I talked about that, it's just, you know, it just holds a deck, which is pretty much, you know, if you're playing cards, that's important enough that it warrants, you know, possibly buying it. But the thing about the flipping tray is it's, it's more kind of an all-in-one deck box. And what I mean by that is it has a compartment to hold your deck and this this deck box can hold about 100 double-sleeved cards. I think it can go up to about 120 single-sleeved cards, which is more than enough. Like I know Magic players, that's definitely um, more of a good feature. But for us Yu-Gi-Oh players, you know, the main side and extra combined is at a minimum 70 cards and at a maximum 90 if you're playing a 60 card deck. So quite frankly, this is more than enough space. Like as you can see, my full main side and extra with 40 cards in the main uh, fit in here nice and comfortably. And the fact the way that it's designed is that the cards aren't gonna be like rolling around. Like it's pretty secure. And you know, if you're just shaking it up and down, there's only about like maybe a, like a centimeter or two worth of room for the cards to really move around vertically. And then obviously horizontally, you know, there is a bit more room because the 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 removable compartment can actually hold a lot more cards. But the removable compartment is something I really like as well because what's cool about it is that you can close your deck box and you can house your cards in the removable compartment. And so it's neat because while you're playing a game, you can have your main deck out on the table and you can keep your side and extra deck in this removable compartment. And then when you're going into games two and three, when you're siding or if you need to use your extra deck in the middle of a game, you don't need to go digging back in your deck box. It's it's still sitting there you know it's facing you so your opponent's not going to see the cards and honestly you can kind of just pick through the cards very easily if you go from the top of the card to really just get to whatever card you need so i really love this removable compartment it's just it's so sleek and the fact that it's just i can just put my cards on the table and not really have to touch my deck box the duration of the match is really really convenient but one of my favorite aspects about this deck box is the upper compartment, and that is the compartment with the removable dice tray. Now this, again, may seem like a really, really basic thing, but 
One of the most important things about playing any card game is that, you know, you have to have dice, and in some games, uh, counters are very important, such as Pokemon or Magic, and you need to have those counters, whether they're plus one, plus one counters, or if they're damage counters, or anything like that. Sometimes you need coins, um, but dice are usually the most important thing, because, you know, usually when you're playing a game, deciding who goes first, dice are the way that you do that. And so what's so cool about this is that there's an act, there's just a compartment that houses the dice for you, so that you never lose your dice. How many times have you guys gone to an event and everyone is asking for dice? Can I borrow your dice? Do you have a dice? I lost my dice. This is the way to solve that. If you have dice in the dice tray, every time you play and roll the dice to see who goes first, you put them back in the dice tray and now you have them for next time. You don't have to put them in your pocket. You don't have to throw them in your backpack hoping you don't lose them. It's just the best solution to that because like I said, I cannot tell you how many people are asking for dice at events. So this is the perfect solution to that. If everyone had one of these deck boxes, then no one would lose their dice because it's always going to be with their deck. So overall, like I said, this is just my favorite deck box of all time. Like I cannot talk about this deck box enough, so much so that I'm giving <laughs> that I'm giving some away. So like I said in the Sidewinder video, if you guys are interested in winning the Ultimate Guard Flip and Trade deck box, or if you want to win a Sidewinder or any of the other products that I'm going to be reviewing this week, be sure to check out the description for the link below to enter the giveaway. If you enter the giveaway once, you're going to be entered to win everything. So don't worry about having to come back to each video but you want to come back to check out what you could possibly be winning so as always guys thank you so much let me know down in the comments what you think about the ultimate guard flip and tray be sure to like the video as always subscribe to the youtube channel for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content back me on patreon and we'll see you next time